is up everyone my name is jesse this is the auditorium i react to video game music as a musician myself from games i've never played or heard about this is a patreon and paypal request by zerenity alina and platinum request by dj singletone this is pokemon sword and shield gym leader battle i don't know if i've done this game i don't think i have pokemon is a big deal <laughs> uh, the fans come in numbers and they tell me every single song i should listen to and for those that don't know, I've seen, I've only heard a couple of songs from this game, or not this game, but Pokemon in general. I only played the first game back in 1998, because I'm old. But ever since then, I never played Pokemon or know about Pokemon ever since, since Gen 1. So this is all new to me. But from what I have heard recently from Pokemon, I'm like, okay, this is kind of impressive. So let's get right into it. This has 10 million views, almost 11. Holy crap. Now, one thing I'll say really quickly before I'll start is... Gym Leader Battles songs are always typically pretty hype, so that's good, as far as I know. And also, the requester says, uh, picture yourself in a football stadium surrounded by fans as you fight giant monsters. Now, that's interesting, because usually when I hear a song, I go in completely blind, without any context, nothing. So at least in this one, I now know that this is where it takes place. But anyways, I'm excited. Gym Leader Battle, Pokemon S and S. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> this was composed by DJ Tiesto. I think this requires a certain uh, lighting. Oh, this is great, man. <laughs> A stadium, huh? Indoor or outdoor? Or I'll go back. It's literally a club banger. Slow down a little bit. I hear those bongos going crazy. So is this two games in one, or...? Oh. Oh, low frequencies. Are we changing it up? Uh-oh. <laughs> Something's brewing. Oh, I know the name of this instrument, but I can't remember what it's called. I'm going to have to look it up.
I know it's Roland. I'll look it up. This song has two moods. I'll explain later. What was that? Transition? Different phase? Oh. Did they include the stadium as part of the song? That's cool. I hear referee whistles too. Whoa! They incorporated the setting? I'm actually glad I now know the setting. Sounds like a halftime show or something. Wow. So much love put into these Pokemon soundtracks, man. So many layers. Almost over. Okay. What the hell was that? <laughs> the whole time I was thinking, I'm like, damn, dude, when I was a kid playing, you know, Pokemon Yellow, of course the music sounded nothing like that, but, you know, in a weird way, it sounded like this as a kid. I wanted it to sound like this, so the fact that you guys get to experience it now like this is is, is pretty magical. Uh, wow. Pokemon, again, I haven't played it in 20-something years. More. You know, what I've gathered is the music department never, never went downhill or anything. I don't even know if the games are bad or if they're still consistent. I know there's fans still all over the world, so they're doing something right. It's a huge media bonanza. I don't know who composed this. It doesn't sound like the composer I'm, I'm used to, but it sounded like they had some influences from like Tiesto, um, Steve Aoki, stuff like that, uh, Infected Mushroom, which I, I'm going to recommend a song, kind of. Uh, there's a song called The Messenger 2012, and towards the middle of that song, you'll hear a part that sounded like this one a lot and it also reminded me of another song called the defunct by daft punk which uses that very famous roland instrument that i'm going to look up in just a second because it's going to drive me nuts but you'll know that sound as soon as you hear it because it was like the main that that sort of like zappy sound that's that what that is and i love that sound you don't hear that almost anywhere anymore it's kind of a the song the, the, that sound is just kind of like uh, it's had its day Okay, so <laughs> this song I said earlier has like two moods. It's kind of like light and dark. So the the whole like electronic, you know, techno thing of it had this kind of dark 
feel, but the melodies and everything else were kind of light and jubilant, which is kind of interesting because I don't know if that's intended with this game being called Sword and Shield, because that's also two, you know, that's two opposing things, just like light and dark. So I don't know if that was intended. I don't know if a lot of the songs in this game have this kind of dual personality like that. But I kept thinking that I'm like, you know, it sounds dark, but the melodies were like, da, da, da. You know, they were kind of in the major key. So very interesting. It was kind of messing with my brain a little bit. And then what seemed like a different phase or like the final phase, because the song kind of like drastically changed. I don't think it goes like that in the game. But the song became kind of this whole different entity with this crowd chant that went towards all the way to the end also the whistle like whistles so again this is one of the very few times where i have context of the game or the song because the requester told me what it was and they said it was a stadium and whatever so i'm like okay so did they incorporate that setting into the song because exactly what it sounded like i just imagined like a football stadium outdoors and just a crowd of people chanting in the song now and if there are referees or something now, they're all of a sudden like part of the song, like some, court, some kind of musical. So it was kind of interesting how that worked out. I haven't heard anything like that before. And, you know, even if I didn't know the context, I would have said something like that. I wouldn't have said like a specifically a stadium, but I would have said, you know, this is definitely like a crowd thing, you know, like an, like an auditorium or some sort of hall or something like that. But I wouldn't have guessed like a... I don't know that's just it just totally kind of took me off guard let me look up what that instrument was because it's driving me crazy so give me just a second i found it it is called the roland tb303 go look it up you'll know the sound i'm talking about as soon as you hear it or if not you can just listen to defunk by daft punk i'll put it in the uh pinned comment below but yeah that is a amazing sound that's a bass synthesizer that's been used forever and it is used sparingly because it is just such an iconic sound. It sounds like kind of like a like a tearing signal of a synth. L look, dude, I'm just I'm gonna be honest. Pokemon music is maybe it kind of maybe it's kind of this whole like Sonic thing where like people like when I when I put out Sonic videos, the fans from those uh, games come out and they're like, well, one thing we can tell you is that no matter how bad the games are, <laughs> the music always delivers in Sonic. And I I think I've heard that a couple times with Pokemon too. Like regardless of the, the, the games throughout all the years, the music kind of delivers and, I, and I'm seeing that tenfold. So now my question to the Pokemon fans, which I'm not sure if I've asked, I could have probably, but now you guys get the question. Again, excuse me if I already asked this, I don't remember. But are there bad songs in the Pokemon series? I've asked this to the big ones on this channel, like Persona, Sonic, you know, because everyone claims all their songs are so good, but there has to be some bad apples too. So what are some Pokemon songs that are bad? In your opinion, of course, they're subjective, but I'm curious. Maybe they'll have a, co a collective answer and that's always intriguing. Anyways, this was the gym leader battle. That was one of the craziest gym leader battles songs I've ever heard. <laughs> there hasn't been many that I've heard, but that was pretty nuts. A plus, A plus music. I don't mean, I'm not doing a rating or anything. I'm just saying like in general, this is a, uh, very impressive, and I haven't had a lot of this sort of like EDM techno thing on on the channel. It's very rare. I think the only other, I think I've maybe done it once or twice in the entirety of the channel. I think Lost Judgment, Yakuza had one. Uh, Unwavering Belief. Oh my god, that song was amazing. You should check that one out. If you like this, go check out that one. It's uh, it's just look up my name and then like Unwavering Belief. You'll see it. <laughs> That's that was. I think my soul left my body in that video. Anyways, thank you again to Alina. Zerenity and DJ Singletone, of course, for the request and to the Pokemon fans for watching. If you want to make your own request, you could do so on Patreon or PayPal. Either are totally fine if you do not mind waiting. There is a gigantic wait list. Unfortunately, I am only one person and there's a lot of songs. If you do not want to wait, you can do what DJ Singletone here did and become a platinum member and expedite your request to the very top or bump someone else's. And uh, yeah, more info about that on Patreon. A big thank you to my current supporters of that, Justin, Kevin, Moon Knight, DJ Singletone, Your Average Metalhead, and Mushi Mary. Thank you all so much for being supporters. Thank you to everyone that you see. Thanks to you for watching, and I will see you dudes and dudettes in the next video. My name is Jesse. PGM is the shiz. 
Peace.